these are the views that take our breath away. The snow-capped peaks and a sea of green that make all of us proud to call Colorado home. It's pristine here. It's uh, just clear and yes. clean. And now there's a new way to play. This is the national park. In this giant outdoor playground. We just didn't know if there was a market for it. It begins with a trek, a trek over the river, and through the woods. Oh yeah, yeah, you have to hike in here. It's a 40 minute hike. Not to grandma's house. Is that you? All righty. But to the side of a 300 foot tall vertical cliff. No one else that we know of is doing this in the United States. I don't think I want to do that. Yep, this is the newest way to camp in Colorado on a five by four foot portal ledge, 200 feet off the ground. Once we decided that we were coming to Colorado, it wasn't even a question. This was a must do once in a lifetime kind of opportunity for us. Josh and Kristen Winter drove all the way from Pennsylvania. Yeah, he planned this whole trip. After reading about it in a magazine. You've got to try it. I have, like, have to try that. And getting to the campsite is an adventure in itself. After the 40 minute hike, Josh and Kristen rope up. Bite of rope to drop down. Lower yourself down. The scariest part is at the beginning. Rappelling off a cliff. Awesome, just lean back. For the first time in their lives. There's something deep inside your brain that tells you not to jump off a cliff. That's how we've stayed alive for so many thousands of years as a species, and you just have to totally override that. Once you get past the fear. It's that first 30 seconds where it's is the rope going to hold? You begin to reap the rewards. Spectacular views as far as the eye can see. You can see the snow-capped mountains, beautiful blue sky. Views you really appreciate once you reach the platform. I think the neatest part for me is looking at this. This is something I feel like you, you wouldn't see unless you are stuck to the side of a cliff. Kent Mountain Adventure Center started their cliff camping experiences three years ago. It's probably just wide enough for two people. Two people that could not shift their weight or move the whole night. Josh and Kristen are here for a picnic. We call it a cliffnick. Do you want me to hook it up for you? This is a lot safer than most people realize. Every person and just about every item is tied to an anchor. We don't call this a dangerous activity. Um, we use so many systems that are redundant for safety. So if this thing were to tip over, you would, all, you and your stuff would hang here. Peace of mind, perhaps, but this reporter didn't want to press his luck. See you guys. See you. Bye. I bid the winters adieu and gave them some time alone to take it all in. That is pretty cool. A picnic they'll remember forever. The day they experienced Colorado and all its majesty from the side of a cliff. Not skydiving. Not sky no yet. skydiving. No skydiving. That's where we draw the line. <laughs> Near Estes Park, Kagan Harsha, Fox 31.